This transmission is coming to you from deep in the jungles of Central Maine. You are about to get high on spirit. All right, so on this mobile edition of High on Spirit, we're going to be exploring home medicine in a, in a new fashion. So what, what about, you know, when you have something going on, uh, but you feel like, you know, I could probably take care of this myself. Most people would go to the doctor, but I'm not necessarily trying to go through all that when I've got, you know, perfectly competent <laughs> dude right behind me who's willing to, uh, you know, cut into me. And I also have another friend right here behind who's willing to film the thing and commentate <laughs> on it during the whole process. So, you know, have no fear. Don't worry. There's, there's you know, I got clean syringes, right? I bought these right off of Amazon. So don't worry. This is totally, this is totally safe. That's sterile. That's about as sterile as you can get right there. You're not going to get more sterile thing? than that. Is that hooked up to your... Uh... I got some uh, syringe <laughs> and needle just to, uh, you know... Flush it what, afterwards what with some colloidal silver. I don't know. This is the number ten. It's just uh, it was. It's a oh yeah, variety. you know what? What's the variety? Well, it's from our sponsor. <laughs> it's from our sponsor, Med Pride. You know, uh, and they are a quality instrument. If this uh, <laughs> if this surgery is a success, you know, we're we're definitely going to report that, and you'll see it here live, That's and you know, awesome. you will get to know that Med Pride is the way to go when it comes to syringes. Number 10, so that's, that's the one you want. So, uh, all right. Now, the thing is, here's what we're going to do. Go ahead and um, can, you, uh, can you show the, the viewers, for those that, can, that are able to watch, can you uh, show them the back here what's going on? Sure. So we, we've had this, this. This has been going on for uh, uh, several years now. And, uh, you know, we've tried acupuncture. We've tried plenty of plant medicine. I've tried rubbing crystals on it. You tried CBD? I haven't really uh, tried that now. He hasn't tried the CBD yet. Well, no, We're I, mean, I, right I have adjusted thing. plenty of CBD. But no, directly on it. Like no, the CBD no, but the TSC I think it's deeper. It. I think it's deeper. Well, I think, we're going to have to do that afterwards. We need, after the oh, well, removal. Afterwards, for sure. We're also going to use colloidal silver, which my friend has prepared, you know, naturally. And uh, so we're going to use that to clean it out and flush out the wound. And, you know, uh, this is one of those things where, you know, we, we love to be able to support the body in its natural healing, you know, do whatever we can. But every once in a while, you know, Western medicine has to take over. When, when it's come to a head like this, you know, this, this is just a fact. This is a balance of, you know, the East and the West, you know, we, we gotta work with it. So, uh, all right, let's, let's get down to business. Yeah, it comes out. Uh, oh, you think something's gonna come out? There. I would hope so. I mean, bulging. So those are light duty, single use. You sure you don't want heavy duty ones? I think we'll be all right. All right, fine. All right. <laughs> My digestive fire is strong. I'll be all right. <laughs> it's uh, two procedures, one visit, absolutely free. Let them tickle the pickle. See if it still go up afterwards. Uh, good. I'm, I'm good on I'm that one. I'm just trying to make sure all energy lines are still aligned after we do cuts. Okay, well, let's check in later <laughs> on that one. <laughs> Let's let's take care of one procedure first, okay? Okay, right. okay, okay, okay. So what we should do now? Mix the. No, we're gonna do the silver and then the hydroperoxide. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. There we go. We're all set. Are you excited? No, I'm not excited at all. <laughs> I, I'm squeamy on these kind of I'm things. I'm willing. Quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> it's about where we're at. We're I willing to do this for you. Really trust, you know, <laughs> quite frankly, I would rather apply some CBD and THC for a few months and see what happened prior to this. But, you know, it's your body and I'm just here to sadly witness. <laughs> Some of our viewers might be super into it, though. We just have to. I uh... think they are, you know. I mean, <laughs> well, I think it's good. It's good, you know, information to have out there, it anyways. Is, because, know, because if it they, fails, they, they, people they... will know. Don't try this at home. Well, <laughs> but if it's a success, <laughs> however, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's the trouble. It probably will be a success. I think it's going to be a great <laughs> success. I'm so excited. All right, right, let's get to business. I guess you should sit on the floor. No one on the couch. Or should we do this in the bathroom, shouldn't we? No, no, no. We got uh, more room I guess right here. here is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Here. Can you take that? Sure. All right, here we go. So I'll sit here. I guess I should probably sit on a towel to mop up all the sputin and everything that comes out. 
Oh, no, no, we're just going to let it run down your back. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. You can get it in the shower afterwards. Someone, oh, she gave me a mirror. I'd love to see what's going on. No, no, on. we got the video for that. All right, I guess I yeah, get to yeah, watch yeah. the replay. Not to say, the way you're going to help me with the alcohol first? Mm. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> ah, the doctor. Yeah, no. that, I always wonder that at the <laughs> dentist, too. Um. I'm like, so you guys use oxygen therapy. Why didn't you put the oxygen before? Right before you put the uh, Do you repair have, uh, in the mouth there, they repair the cavity and they do the auction therapy on the teeth. Uh -huh. But why didn't they do the auction right before, like the moment right before? Well, it seems critical to get it right at that instant. Do you want to use this? Perhaps Ice a question for another or... podcast, my friend. But no. Well, you got the colloidal silver or the, or the hydrogen peroxide right there. Either one will work, too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hydro, the hydrogen well, there's peroxide. There's a right over there. Either one. Go with the hydrogen peroxide right there. Just give them a squirt. Do you think this is safe? Safe? Well, no, safe. nothing is safe. <laughs> Safety is an illusion. <laughs> Life is an illusion, my friend. Safety as well. All right. Don't cut into my spine. Oh, my God. When I was getting the acupuncture needles in this, Leslie yeah. was trying to stick them in my spine. No, like, that's not a good idea. What are you doing? Don't yeah. do that. Stay away from the lungs. She was just, I mean, we were, we had, Especially yeah, I think we had, um, we had a vibe with I was going to cut like a really fine line and then just slightly go deeper until it spurts. And, I uh, mean, it's up to you. I mean, I'm not the professional off. here. This is you, all you. But yeah, so you see you. where the giant yeah, bump right. is, right? You're not going to cut into my spine, are you? I don't think so. All right, cool. Do I need to point it out to you? I see the dying <laughs> bubble. All right. We're going for that. Deep breath in. Let it out. I didn't cut shit. Does that hurt? I felt a tiny tingle. All right. Deep breath in. Oh, yeah. One time I was getting stitches in my head, and I started doing this sort of thing. Oh, the doctor was like, what the hell is going on with this guy? But I'm not saying it's all right. You could jab me with needles. You can cut into my flesh. And it's fine. Really not pop. It's take a little bit more force than that, it looks like there. Oh, a little more force. Try not to jab into my arteries. There's arteries somewhere deep in there. <laughs> Starting to bleed, but not pussing. Oh, deeper, deeper. Deeper, deeper still. Maybe Cutting into my flesh. I feel a subtle burn. It's a baby alien. Oh, yeah. Let's birth it. What shall I call him? Man, oh. this is awfully anticlimactic at this point. Hmm. Oh, come on. You can go deeper than that. You're just getting blood. Oh, I haven't done this before. This is my friend's body. Would you like to cut into it, sir? No, no. This is just comments from the peanut gallery. <laughs> Our viewers are getting a little... Oh, yeah. You know, we're something. losing them by the moment something. here. Yeah, a... You got to hold on. Right. It's going to squirt out and hit the guy in the goggles here in a second. <laughs> yes. But I did feel a deeper layer of epidermis as he went through that last time. Yeah, I'm getting his blood here, man. Just blood, huh? No, there's something coming out. You getting something? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Gently coaxing it. Is it an alien baby? Something like that. Oh, God, I can't wait. You might need a bigger hole to get out of. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, we're starting to get some white. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I felt that. You know, just find the hole a little bit. Yeah, good stuff. 
A yes. bunch of white pus. Oh, fuck oh, yeah. Oh, he's getting some white pus. Yeah, baby. It's like your back is shitting a tiny little light shit. Pay dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you, dirt, do you, do you, are you noticing any smell, David, coming out of it? Can't smell shit right can't now. Can't smell anything. No, I'm sure it's there though. It's probably not pleasant. We don't. We don't need to. We don't need to think about that. Well, just for the viewers, you know. So <laughs> you just... Oh God! It looks like a little alien thing coming out now. An alien worm. That's creepy looking, man. Yeah, that is kind of disgusting. I <laughs> love that. Take a load of that, huh? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, there it is. Mm. Ass in's coming out. All right. You still think it's some ginseng and fucking <laughs> 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 I mean, I would I would still recommend that to make sure it doesn't come back. I'm pretty sure it's just like an ingrown hair. Yeah, whatever you want to say. Uh, but it's been there for like four or five years, though, but it hasn't, it's just started to get kind of bigger in the last six months. So, you know, time to take care of it. That's well, like string cheese. Oh, man, gross. Yeah, just like the band. We're going to have to keep going. <laughs> Try and milk this out some more. Can I put that stuff under my pillow? Is that worth anything? Whatever you want to do with it. <laughs> Think the loop gremlins come and take it for children that have been bad? <laughs> no, no comment. <laughs> Man, those goggles weren't necessarily needed though, huh? Yeah, but they made me feel a lot better about the process. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was expecting something from, like, out of the exorcist. Well, I mean, it was pretty close. It was. I mean, it's pretty nasty. It is pretty nasty. Yeah, you know. Almost there. Last little bits. They're like kind of attached in there. So, how many kilos do you think this is gonna weigh? Under a gram. Oh, maybe a couple though. Wet weight. Wet weight. Might be a couple of grams wet weight, yeah. It's a little bit down here, so... Yeah, I mean, who knows? It could be... It could be several. I, I don't... I... Aren't familiar with the wet weight of body, whatever this is. Pus. Hardened pus. It feels like... It's like a really, really gooey booger. Sorry, I'm just really trying to milk it and make sure... I'm glad we didn't just discover blood. That would have been really disappointing. You know, this, is, this feels much more satisfactory. And I'm sure it's, you know, it's much more entertaining for the viewers as well. I mean. <laughs> if anybody's made it to this point, they're de <laughs> they definitely have something that they're dealing with themselves and wondering what they should do. I had something similar. I went to the doctor, and he measured it. And told me to come back in a year. Mm. It was not comforting at all. <laughs> I actually had like a sort of a mole in the back of my leg. And I had it checked out because I was, you know, concerned uh, that it might be, you know, cancerous or something like that. Anyways, they assured me it wasn't. And they were like, we'll just freeze this off for you. Well, they froze it. And it sort of fell off. But then it kind of grew back. Yeah. And then I ended up getting some, uh, I did another one of these home remedies. I should have filmed this one too. It was great. But, uh, I got some of that canned air, you know, the air duster, clean your computers and such. Yeah. Well, it doesn't get down to like negative 300 degrees, but it does get like negative 60 Fahrenheit. So I think it's ether. Still isn't pretty it? freaking cold. Um, you might be right. Yeah. I hit it with that a bunch of times. It burned like a son of a gun, but it did eventually fall off again. Most of the way. Yeah. And it's kind you of sensitive. Uh, I'm going to have to stop the viewing for that. Yeah, I could, though. Well, you know, like clean boogers at the back of your back of your nostril, how hard they get to. Oh, but you can also down. suck it out with the syringe. Mm. That's what we got that for, bro. All right. Mm, you want it really? I don't know if that's going to do it. Like the consistency is just so thick, dude. But yeah, don't put the needle on. Just use the syringe itself. Stick it in there and. All right, sure. Maybe just go with the washout at this point. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. By, add, by adding the hydrogen peroxide to it, we might... Yeah, it might free it up. It might, like, bubble it out, kind of. 
Thinking of hydrogen peroxide and the coital liver? Or Just what? go with the hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. <laughs> you see that shit? It comes out like a volcano when you put a little hydrogen peroxide on it. How much blood have I lost? Very little. Mostly just pus. Oh, okay, cool. The problem is, this last little bit just kind of retracts back in and doesn't want to leave. Let me give it one more shot of hydrogen peroxide. Sick field medic here, David, is doing an excellent job. He's training in the uh, backwoods of Maine. <laughs> it's paid off. It's been arduous. Do you have any relationship with the consciousness of this organism that's leaving you? No. You know, I'll have to wait till it separates out for me because it probably just, you know. I mean, most of it has. Hmm. Like 95%. Nice. But there's still just the walls. Oh. <sighs> mm. I think a little bit more, let it drain out on its own. Yeah, it wants to leave when you do that. <laughs> it's still <laughs> attached on the base of it, though. This needs a little deeper shot of the hydrogen peroxide in there. Sever the ties. We probably could have done this as a... For all I know, that's... That looks pretty good, really. Yeah, that might just be, like, part of the actual... Yeah, maybe one little washout in hydrogen peroxide. We're going to call it game. What's left of it? Got mushed. And this kind of shit. Oh, yes, that's a good... Ooh, man, that's a big old ball. Yeah, that was the first one that came out. Mm. Man, I wonder if it's active in any way. Probably. I mean, There's alkaloids in there? You want to eat it? I don't know if we should eat it. <laughs> All right, so, so far it was definitely a success. You know, we gotta give it out to our peoples at Med, right? Med Pride, <laughs> yes. Our, uh, our sponsors, our proud sponsors at Med Pride, making those badass number 10 syringes for your ass. They're scalpels, scalpels actually. Go. That's scalpels. what I cut. That's what I was like. Yeah, we cut into you. It was a scalpel. The syringes, uh, uh, were someone else. Who made the syringes? Never, yeah, the syringes were good, well, too. Well, there's I'm more. I'm not worrying about details. The if you like syringes, we're, we're going to do a syringe review video coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions about syringes or about scal Putting it in scalpels, people. about squeezing out pus, Squeezing it about how wonderful it all is. I gotta tell you, great. I felt a tingling in my whole body mm. after this. Uh, after this, you know you'll like it. Just yeah. try the number ten, and you win. Indeed. So let's get a close up here real quick. See if we can pull that, pull that back. <laughs> I got you. Pull that back. Pull that back. You got there we go. Uh, you want the bandaid on? No, no, no. Just look. It's all healed up. It's yeah. all good. Yeah. It's basically gone down to normal. Looks like a small pimple. Nothing grotesque, you know, nothing to, um, to uh, shun me. Easy peasy, warm and squeezy, just... And uh, I've re been returned to wholeness. Better do it. I am complete. 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 <laughs> this transmission is coming to you from deep in the jungles of Central Maine. You've been listening to High on Speed.